Hi and welcome. I'm going to do a little bit of a detour for me today, um, inspired by all of you that are starting to explore portrait painting. I'm really amazed at the wonderful work you've been doing. And for those of you that might want to give it a go, I'm just going to do a very quick demonstration for you of my own portrait palette in the most simple terms. I haven't actually done portrait painting for a long time. But you're all making me think that might be something I'd like to go back to. Anyway, what I've got here for anyone especially who's starting out and wondering about a very basic, simple skin colour mix, I'm going to show you my own palette. And there are many of you that are really doing wonderful things with more colours in your palette, but this is really more like a starter set. So I'm going to show you how I do this. The colors I've got, uh, titanium white, yellow ochre, cadmium red, burnt sienna, and ultramarine blue. So I'm going to start with a large piece of titanium white. And you can hear the cows outside the window there. And I'm going to add a little bit of my yellow ochre and cadmium red to that to make a middle kind of peachy skin tone as a base colour. And I'm only taking it a really tiny bit at a time of each of these. Because you can see how little it takes to actually colour that white. So as I mix this together, I then judge, um, is it to yellow or to red, and I'm trying to get really a middle peach. So I'm going to add a little bit more. It's still too weak. Tiny bit at a time. You can see how strong it colors pretty quickly. So I would probably call that about a middle peach color. And then what I do is I look at um, how I will make highlights from this color and shadow from this color. But all of it from now on will be based on this, or this will be part of the mix so that you get harmony throughout. So I'll start with highlights where on one side, I come in with a little bit more white and a tiny bit more yellow and pull this mother color out into that so that I can go then kind of as light as I like in one direction using this same base color. Then for where I want it to be redder, like cheeks, I can bring a little bit of more red into this mix. Like that. But it's made from the same base color. For shadow, I'm going to make it a little bit more purple in one area and a little bit more grayed in another. So to get a bit more purple, I'm going to take some of the cadmium red and some of the ultramarine blue. And add that to the base. And to make it a bit grayer, I'm moving into the burnt sienna and ultramarine blue and pulling that in. And I judge then, is it too brown? Is it too blue? A little bit more of each. And then I can make these stronger as I go out. I can get a bit more dark coming in here. I'd add a little bit more of my red there too. It's more of the, the base color. See what I'm doing there. And also then you, you adjust this as you need to, like if someone has more a ruddy orangish skin tone, you can take some of your burnt sienna. Um, I think a problem with a lot of skin tones is that it can become too orange. 
So you can counteract this with a little bit of your gray. Like that. So that's basically it. You start with a big pool and it's about 80% white. You get a medium average skin color based again on what your subject is as a central color. Then you use this color as a base to get highlights, to get it redder, to get it darker and so on. I'll just go a little bit darker out here with these. And adjusting as you go. And moving more of the mix into that as you need to. So you can, you know, using this as your base, you can spread out in a few different areas like that. But always keep this going so you have it available to work from. So that's it for your introduction to skin tones in the palette. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.